And then, you know, you have to mute your Facebook or close it down so it doesn't play in the background, right? Um, yes, and we just recorded all that. <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning. <laughs> we're live. We're good to go. We're live. Fantastic. Why is it my picture on Facebook? Nope, there we go. We're good. And do we have recording on um, Zoom? Yes. Okay, well, welcome, guys. Welcome to our Wednesday webinar. I apologize for the little bits of technicality there at the very beginning. We are attempting something new. We are hoping for this weekly webinar that we've been doing to um, be able to go out on Facebook Live. So I hope that this is working. I hope that you guys are able to join us this morning. I am Julie Grunts. Today is September 5th. I have the lovely Glenda Roba show with, you, with me today, and we are talking about uh, vetiver oil today. One of my all-time favorite oils, and I'm really excited to share some fun things with you. So on the agenda today, we've got um, some new promotions. September coming in nice and hot, all kinds of fun stuff. And then we have um, some celebrating to do for August. Then we will get to our oil of the week, which is vetiver, and then we'll close with our upcoming events. So first and foremost, September is probably the most exciting month in uh, the entire calendar year, especially in our doTERRA world, because we have convention. Woo! This year, it's even more exciting because they're celebrating our 10 year anniversary this year. And I am just so pumped that we get to be in Utah live with them celebrating that. But if you don't have the opportunity to travel, but would love to celebrate with us and watch all of the amazing things that happen at convention, um, live stream options are are available. So hop on to events.doterra.com and grab your ticket today. It's an amazing three-day event that will give you so much information from scientists to uh, talking with the farmers. They'll be talking about each of our new oils that they're going to release. They talk in depth about each of our new products. So you'll get some amazing product knowledge along with um, all of the awesome things that the Healing Hands Foundation is doing around the world. And it really, really fills your bucket, um, both with knowledge and just some amazing heartfelt um, goodness. Mm -hmm. What would you say, Glenda, do you wanna share a little tidbit of what you get out of convention and if you had a 30 second elevator speech to tell somebody why they have to attend either live or online, what would that be? Oh my goodness. Well, right on the spot. <laughs> no, it's all good. Um, I am so grateful that this will actually be my eighth convention that I've attended. Ooh. And I look forward to it each year as a time to not only get just a ton of essential oil education, um, but I also look to it as it just fills my cup and um, just fills me with hope to see all the amazing things that we are doing around the world, not only as wellness advocates, but as a company and reaching um, the communities that grow our beautiful essential oils that you know harvest the plants and take care of them. Um, and all the different lives we touch with our Healing Hands Foundation, it just, it's giving me goosebumps. It's, it's an amazing three days that it's, uh, it's just exhilarating and inspiring. And I, I really encourage you, if you are able to do the live stream, you will have two weeks to view it after, um, you know, and you can break it up into more manageable chunks instead of, you know, sitting in front of your computer all day. But I highly encourage you. It, there is a cost of $49 with it, but the amount of education and information that you will get is just incredible so and then think about going live next year to the convention mm -hmm. it's incredible it's absolutely incredible it certainly is 
So moving on, we have some awesome promotions going on in September. I love, love, love. This is only the second time that they've done this um, discounted enrollment promo, but you have the opportunity in September, if there is someone that you have been sharing oils with or that has been inquiring about getting their own discounted membership, this is an awesome month to do it. So not all of the enrollment kits, kits are um, available at a discount, but most of them are. So the Emotional Aromatherapy Diffused Kit, the Cleanse and Restore Kit, the Home Essentials Kit, the Natural Solutions Kit, the Diamond Kit, and the Every Oil Kit are all discounted by 20% off this month. Could you imagine getting your Diamond Kit for an additional $500 in savings? Oh my God, it's already just an awesome savings and then throw that on top of it? Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, and even the Emotional Aromatherapy Kit, I was looking at that one and those six oils, not even with an enrollment, but by themselves as a member, it's $160. $159. So to get them with the diffuser, it's basically getting your enrollment and your diffuser absolutely free. So what an awesome deal. Um, make sure that you share this with those that you love. And um, thinking in the future, you know, Christmas is coming up and what an awesome way to gift somebody a membership for Christmas. Mm. Mm. And then the specials this month, if you are on the Loyalty Rewards Program and you submit your order by the 15th of the month and it's 125 PV or more, you are going to get a free lime. Lime is one of my favorites to have uh, in the kitchen. Um, I like to put it in my water. Um, sometimes I like to add it to like a salad dressing or add it to salsa. Um, it's just a beautiful... You can't not smile when you smell lime. I don't know. It's just awesome. <laughs> and then uh, our oil that is 10% off this month is cardamom. This is another one of my um, kind of go-tos as far as my oils go. Cardamom is amazing for the respiratory system. It's also really great for the digestive system. Um, it's just a beautiful, I just love the smell of cardamom. Um, it's great to diffuse at night to help open the airways. It's great to have on hand just to rub on your belly in times of discomfort and so many other things. But Did you know that you can add cardamom to your coffee and mm -hmm. it actually helps to carry the caffeine more mm -hmm. even keeled and longer instead of giving you that spike and drop in energy? Interesting. Yeah, so I like to add just a drop with some coconut oil as to help carry it, you know, yeah. spread it along in the coffee, um, but it really makes a nice little flavor addition too. Yep. Almost a little Indian coffee. Mm. I'm going to try that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So celebrating August, what a fun month that we had finishing up the summer. So our top enrollers um, that I want to celebrate are Katie and Daria tied on my team for top enrollers. And Tanya, knocking it out of the park again with enrollments. Way to awesome. go. Awesome. And then Rank Advancements, Melanie, I'm so proud of you, girl. You have been working it and sharing it and just have such a love for these products and for sharing your experiences with other people. So congrats, guys. So uh, August was pretty great, a great way to finish off the summer. And I am so excited for what September brings. On to our oil of the week. Da, 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 vetiver. <laughs> so vetiver is absolutely one of my favorite oils. It is such a unique and interesting um, essential oil. It has, first off, it comes from the root of a grass grown in Haiti. And it has such an earthy aroma to it. You can really almost smell 
the dirt that these roots were growing in. It has, um, it has this really, really great um, grounding ability to it because of its rooted nature. So it's fantastic to apply to the bottoms of your feet. If you're feeling a little bit scattered, it has a great grounding effect on your emotions. You could use it before traveling. It's fantastic before flying because I don't know about you, Glenda, but I have a tendency to feel a little, um, well, shoot, less than grounded. <laughs> <laughs> cool thing is that you can actually take vetiver in a capsule as well um, with lemon to help support your system too. So we can use this um, aromatically, topically, and internally. This would be one that if you have sensitive skin, you'll want to dilute. And honestly, I have actually taken a bottle and poured half of it out and filled it up with fractionated coconut oil and put one of those roller tops on it because vetiver is really, really, really thick, almost sticky, syrupy oil. It's really hard. I don't know if you've ever sat and tried to just get one drop out of a cold vetiver bottle. That just seems to take about a year and a half to do so. <laughs> um, so a couple tips tips and tricks that I like to do. So like I said, the dilution and then pop on a roller bottle top and then I can roll it right on the bottoms of my feet or on my low back before bed. Or if I want to get a straight drop of neat vetiver, I will actually just pop the bottle in a pocket or my armpit, or my bra, someplace where my body heat can warm it up, because we absolutely don't want to be popping it in the microwave at all, but um, just a little bit of body heat can warm that essential oil up enough to get it out of the bottle. Shall we um, try some? Oh, yeah, thanks. Yes, so if you have um, vetiver, I invite you to patiently wait as a drop comes out of the bottle into your palm. <laughs> <laughs> like Julie mentioned, it is a thicker oil. So maybe hold it in your hands like she's recommended or in the armpit. <laughs> <laughs> or the knee pit. Mm, rub your palms together and just breathe it in. This one is really growing on me. I will admit it at the beginning, this was not one of my favorites. Um, but I'm really liking it. And it really does, you know, on this slide, it says that it's got kind of a sweet, woody, caramel, smoky aroma. I've never really noticed the smoky element to it before, but I can totally smell it now. Mm, it's just beautiful. It does kind of remind you of camping, doesn't it? Yes. Mm. Being outdoors. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I like to dip my toe in a little bit is what makes our oils do what they do. And so each of the oils have a unique chemical profile to them. And this one here, this slide shows the chemical profile of vetiver. And it's talking here about the, um, the different components of it. And the thing that makes vetiver so amazingly grounding are the sesquiterpenes that are in our vetiver. And sesquiterpenes are also found in um, sandalwood and frankincense and some of our other amazing grounding oils. So if you don't have vetiver on hand, but you want those grounding properties, take a peek in your Modern Essentials book and look for other oils that may have that same sesquiterpene alcohol profile, and you'll find some other really great grounding oils. So some of the common uses for vetiver, 
It is stimulating for the circulatory system. Um, it can provide a little kind of locally warming when used. It's an antispasmatic. It's great for skin, whether it's oily, aging, tired, or irritated. It's an immune stimulant, so as we're moving into fall, this would be a good one to have on hand. Um, like we mentioned, it's very grounding. It helps with focus. Um, this would be a great one for children that struggle with focus at school, maybe putting a little bit on the bottoms of their feet before they leave for school for the day. It's a sedative for the nervous system. Um, it's also a termite repellent. That's always good to know. <laughs> Hope that's not a problem that you incur, but if it is. <laughs> um, and like Julie mentioned, you know, I find that when I make the oils um, ready for application, being that I put them in a roller bottle or I've mixed them with some fractionated coconut oil ahead of time, they're a lot easier to use on the go and more of, you know, they're easier to grab for when you know it's just, it's ready to use in that form because you don't, this one is so, um, the aroma is, is so strong, you know, you really don't need a lot. Um, less is more. Well, you can't get a lot out of the bottle at a time either. So well, this is true. <laughs> true. And then this would also make a great um, go-to deodorant as well. Yeah, the, the earthy, sticky longevity of it really helps last <laughs> most of the day, which is fantastic. So some of the products that we already have that have vetiver in them, um, Serenity, our restful blend. Now, a couple years back, they changed the formula of Serenity from the calming blend to the restful blend. And with that change, they actually added um, cedarwood and vetiver to it. And I am so happy that they did. I just love the earthy grounding nature that those two oils add to the Serenity blend. Um, it's a great blend to pop in your diffuser before bed or just put a drop on your hand and rub it on your pillowcase. Can be a really great way to promote deep restful sleep. Um, and then they've got a Serenity Bath Bar, which is just a great way to say I love you to someone. So they make great gifts. They're um, tremendously moisturizing on the skin and have that great Serenity blend in them. And then Whisper is our blend for women. If you haven't tried out this blend, I encourage you to pop it onto your LRP this month. It is such a great, um, a great blend. It was created as a perfume, but they found that its side effect is that it actually helps to balance out hormones. And one of the things that Dr. Lynn was talking about um, last week at her health and hormones class is that it helps to balance the body's natural ability to handle cholesterol levels. So it can be a really great, um, really great bonus oil and it smells amazing. And the cool thing about Whisper is it smells different on everybody. So get it on your LRP pop a drop on your wrist, share it with your friends, and experience um, what your own pheromones do with the different oils. It's pretty fascinating. And then our Peace Blend. This is a huge, um, this is one of our family favorites. This is in the diff girls' diffusers each night. They each carry a bottle with them to school. And it's really um, an oil blend that helps them to feel well at peace, you know, more grounded, more assured, less um, nervous during the school night. So that can be really helpful. And then I couldn't help but add this um, oil blend to our slide today. So our one oil blend, this is not something that's available to everyone, but if you were a lucky um, recipient of this oil blend a couple of months back when they offered it, I encourage you to explore this one a little bit more. And I love that, um, this little lead from the heart. I lead my team from the heart, always with in alignment with who I am. 
and with respect to other, who others are. I take ownership for what I create because I'm rooted in truth and I walk with integrity. So that's a blend of the ylang ylang, vetiver, frankincense, Douglas fir, cardamom, and melissa. So just some really fun blends that have this awesome, awesome oil in them. So one of the things that makes me so excited about vetiver is not only what it does for us and the amazing aroma that it has, but also how our purchase of vetiver affects communities far beyond our own. So I'm going to encourage you to sit and enjoy this little video. It's about seven minutes long, but it is definitely worth the watch. As we hiked up the mountain to be able to meet with the people who are harvesting the better for us, the first reaction I had was, was hope. It was beautiful. It was lush and green. It was very different from what you see in the cities in, in Haiti. And the next thing I, I really noticed was how hard they work. Their calloused hands, um, their weathered faces, that they took pride in their work. Vetiver is a really interesting crop in that it's uh, a very hardy grass. It can grow just about anywhere that was introduced there, uh, primarily for the fragrance industry. And we have targeted for the aromatherapy industry specifically, both with our partners on the ground there and the cooperative we're working with to grow our, our raw materials. The manual labor required to harvest vetiver is quite incredible. It's much harder than what I ever imagined. And they do this day in and day out. Not only do they pull the vetiver plant out of the, out of the ground, but then they've got to take a stick and they've got to beat the dirt out of the root system so that all they have left is just that pure better for root. 15 days to produce one gallon of oil. 500 of these bells to fill up one of those 20 foot tall skills. And after it's harvested, you'll get one gallon of oil for five guys work for 15 days. Haiti being the poorest country in the Western hemisphere truly is an ideal place um, for co-impact sourcing. They have tens of thousands of small-scale farmers who are largely unorganized and are being able to go there and truly make a, an impact, a difference in a country that badly needs it, presented us a great opportunity to, to undertake our sourcing initiatives there. As we, we met with the cooperative and, and to be able to really understand some of the challenges and trials that they were dealing with, first of all, is that the income that they were receiving was not sustainable. Um, they would go out and harvest vetiver as they needed it, but it didn't sustain them throughout the year to be able to provide for their family, to provide the food that they needed, to be able to provide even the simplest of things like education. They couldn't afford to send their children to school because they didn't have that sustainable stream of income throughout the year. Happy 
Today, we had a great meeting. They proved uh, to me personally. I even cry after hearing certain things, you know, that makes me uh, more motivated to uh, have those people working very hard in the veterinary field to make it uh, a better life. Even if I have a distillery and I don't have those people, I won't be able to, to work. And even if those people have their field full of vetiver and they don't have their distillery, nobody will be able. But it's like a chain on a motorcycle and on a bicycle that is pouring thief after thief, you know. So we have been uh, doing that work and having a company like Dodera, you know, coming and have the same vision, same rap, and have all the Asian in the vetiver field have a better life including myself. What touched me the most is we met with them was to discover that they had no access to clean water, that they were traveling for three hours every single day to be able to collect water that wasn't even drinkable. This was really very touching to hear, you know, certain people in 2014 that didn't have water, you know, to even bathe or water to even cook their food. They have to walk hours from where we were to get a single gallon of water. And myself, I don't accept that. I want to change their way of life, but I won't be able to make a miracle. Since we sat there, we understood the desires of their heart to someday have water. We made a commitment that we would bring that to them. Every time I watch that video, it makes me tear up. <laughs> well, I'm with you. <clears throat> I'm with you. How awesome. Vetiver is actually too, you know, when I do a live class um, or in person and I talk about co-impact sourcing, I mean, vetiver is always one that I like to talk about the story of how we're making a difference there. And it just, yeah, warms my heart. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's one of those that I'm really proud to use <laughs> yeah. every single time. Mm -hmm. So, which leads us to the emotional aspect of vetiver. Since vetiver does come from the roots, um, you know, it helps us get grounded in life, really. And I took this excerpt from the Emotions and Essential Oil book. <clears throat> Vetiver oil assists in becoming more rooted in life. Life can scatter one's energy and make individuals feel split between different priorities, people, and activities. Vetiver brings the individual back down to earth. So if you're feeling uh, disconnected, scattered, stressed, um, like you're avoiding something, or you know if there happens to be a crisis, Vetiver can really help bring you back to center, help you feel grounded, help you feel present, um, help you feel emotionally aware and connected. And that's something that I think in our lives today, we um, we're pulled a thousand different directions. You know, you've got your phone ringing, you've got text messages, emails, phone calls, social media. Um, you know, we, a lot of us, when you're going somewhere, you're, you're driving further than we might have, you know, 20 or 30 years ago to get somewhere. So you're just always doing so many things all at once, trying to get everything done in one day. And I think because we have technology and we rely on that to help us so much, 
we expect to complete more in a day mm -hmm. because we have those tools that it becomes really easily, really easy to just get scattered and not be connected to what's happening on and not be present in the moment. Um, so that's something that I, I'm personally really working on is, you know, when I go see my family, I want to make sure that I'm present and I'm there with them and not trying to think of a hundred other things. And, you know, when I'm driving somewhere, I want to be present in my body while I'm behind the wheel. Um, Cause I think there's a lot of people out there driving that aren't. <laughs> um, so this oil can just really kind of help bring you back and get you centered and, and help you to feel present. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it at that. Wonderful. So some of the um, fun ways that you can use vetiver is in different oil blends. Um, I found this great. The Prairie Homestead always has some really great recipes online available. And so this is her liquid sleep oil blend. This one she's created in a roller bottle with lavender, vetiver, frankincense, ylang ylang, and wild orange. One of my favorite um, diffuser sleep blends is vetiver, cedarwood, marjoram, copaiba, and Siberian fir really is a, a beautiful blend and it just makes me sleep like a baby. And then this peaceful child blend. This is one that's been um, circulating around the internet for a number of years and I've used this on a multitude of different wily children. <laughs> and it is a combo of vetiver, Ylang Ylang, Frankincense, Clary Sage, Marjoram, and Lavender. And this can be put in a roller bottle with um, fractionated coconut oil, applied to the soles of the feet. Um, older children, you can also apply it to the heart, wrists, throat, and back of neck to really help them feel at peace, comfortable, confident uh, within their own bodies. And just like Glenda said, not so scattered. Because I think kids really feed off of our energy, too. So roll it on you. Roll it on your kids. Y'all can have a much better grounding experience in life. Mm, yes, and for the men in your lives, especially if they're beardy. <laughs> <laughs> like my man. Um, Vetiver is a really nice one to add when you're making uh, beard oil and beard oil is something that I make for my hubby and um, for some of his friends that are growing out those ginormous beards so they're they stay nice and shiny and soft <clears throat> but vetiver is a really nice one um, I actually just made him another beard oil this weekend and now I can't remember what I put in it but I think because when we were working on this, I saw this slide. I was like, ooh, vetiver. I want to say I did vetiver, cedarwood, frankincense, and bergamot. And it's mm. really yummy. Oh, and Siberian fur. Um, but these are just also some other ideas for the men in your lives. Give them some lemon. Help them get all that grease and paint off their hands. <clears throat> Diffusing uh, patchouli, vetiver, and bergamot can be a nice musky manly scent for the man cave <laughs> and then uh, lemon lime and ginger on hand to spice up your drinks so don't forget to you know try and get the men in on these essential oils because they can help them too don't forget your bro tara <laughs> <laughs> There is actually a Broterra Facebook page. If you have some men that are in love with doTERRA and want some other, um, some camaraderie in that regard. Yes. So here's some other favorite diffuser blends. Um, vetiver and lemon for that fresh rain smell. There's a calming afternoon, vetiver, frankincense, and lavender. If you have an overstimulated mind, vetiver, frankincense, wild orange, and balance. That could be a really, really fantastic um, homework um, oil blend too. Mm. Um, focus and concentrate, frankincense, cedarwood, and vetiver. Stress less, bergamot, frankincense, lavender and vetiver 
So play around with that vetiver. Again, it's a little hard to get out of the bottle, so play around with that one too. But um, don't let that don't let that stop you. Don't let that hinder you from using it because it is an amazing oil. So that kind of wraps up our um, vetiver topic for the week. And uh, we want to make sure that you are aware doTERRA has an awesome um, continuing education opportunities at doTERRA.com. Hop over into that search bar and just type in Empowered Life Series. And they've got um, a new webinar series starting today and tomorrow. They've got multiple times that it's showing live. And their topic this month is on personal care. So they're going to give you some really great tips and tricks on how you can utilize um, doTERRA oils in your everyday self-care, which, you know, quite frankly, I was thinking about it the other day, looking at my face wash and my shampoo. And I am so grateful that I get oils in me, on me all the time in everything that I'm doing on a regular basis, because those essential oils I know are helping to center me, ground me, and uplift my mood on a regular basis. So hop on to the Empowered Life webinar series. Like I said, it is happening today and tomorrow multiple times. If you miss it or you want to go back and see some of the last month's um, episodes, uh, they do have a great archived database there as well. And upcoming events. Oh, it's going to be fun this next month. Uh, next week, our webinar will spotlight eucalyptus. And this coming Saturday at uh, 8 a.m. September 8th, we will have our monthly business meeting. Uh, that will be via Zoom. So if you're interested, please let us know. We'll make sure to get you the link for that. Then Monday, September 10th at 6.30, there's an intro to oils at Unwind Within. And then Tuesday, September 11th at 7 p.m., our very own Julie Grummets will be doing oils for you and your teen at the Grand State Conference Center in Apple Valley. I'm really excited to see you shine, Julie, and share how you use the oils with your girls. Uh, then Monday, September 17th at 6 p.m., I will be doing a toxin-free living with essential oils at Thrive Chiropractic in Minnetonka. And Saturday, September 29th at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., there is a post-convention highlights um, taking place at the Grand Stay um, Conference Center in Apple Valley. And then please mark your calendars, make sure you register. Thursday, October 25th at 7 p.m., there is a post-convention tour with Corey Lindley. He is one of the owners of doTERRA. He will be coming to Minneapolis to share um, kind of in a summary of what we learn at convention. Uh, these are always amazing events. It's always a packed house. Like I said, you make you, you're gonna wanna register and get a ticket. It is free to attend but you need, do need to have a ticket to get in because um, we usually sell out. We, we fill up that room pretty quick. So if you have friends or family or you know anyone that's interested in learning more about doTERRA, that would be an amazing event for them to come to and actually um, hear one of the owners speak. So I'm super excited for that. And I know that we'll have a lot of other really fun activities um, coming in the fall here to you. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us this uh, week for our Wednesday webinar. We are excited that we have figured out Facebook Live and uh, hopefully we will have that as an opportunity for our next week's eucalyptus um, webinar as well. So if you want to check out any of our past webinars, they are available at Oilers with a Mission YouTube channel. And make sure to add, go on to oilerswithemission.com. We've got a Google Calendar out there. You can actually add that calendar right to your own Google Calendar and see all of our upcoming events as they're posted. So you don't have to wait for them to actually end up on Facebook or end up in an email invite in your inbox, which sometimes get lost. So. A lot of great opportunities. We're so excited to be with you guys this week, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you.